Creative Maths brings you Maths, made really clear with Dr Nick. Exponents 1. Multiplying with practice examples. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. This video is part of a set of videos about exponents. To get the most from this video, you need to listen to the explanations. After each explanation, there is a series of examples and practice examples. Follow along the example. Pause the video to do the practice example, then continue checking that you're getting it. In the description below is a link to a file with all the practice examples. You might like to print that out before you begin. And here we go! Exponents! An exponent tells how many times a value is multiplied by. The exponent is the little number above and to the right of an ordinary sized number. It is sometimes called a power or an index. The normal sized number it applies to is called the base. As the exponent in this example is 2, the base is multiplied 2 times. When it is written out in full, it is called expanded form. Example set 1. Expanding and simplifying numbers with exponents. 5 to the power of 2, also known as 5 squared, equals 5 times 5. Your turn. 4 to the power of 2 is... 4 times 4. If the video is going too fast, you might like to slow it down or pause. 2 to the power of 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 2 multiplied 5 times. 2 to the power of 4 is... 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. In other words, 2 multiplied 4 times. Now we'll go the other way around. 10 times 10 times 10 is 10 to the power of 3, also known as 10 cubed. Your turn. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 equals 6 to the 4. Or we can call it 6 to the power of 4. Now 3.3.3.3.3.3 is equivalent to 3 to the power of 6. A dot is another way to write times. So for you, 12.12.12.12.12 is another way of writing 12 to the power of 5. So far, we have just used powers of numbers, but we also need to apply this to variables or letters in algebra. The same exponent notation applies to variables or letters. You can see that w to the power of 2 is w times w, just like 5 to the power of 2 is 5 times 5. Example set 2, using letters or variables. p to the power of 2 equals p times p. q to the power of 2 is q times q. k to the power of 5 is k times k times k times k times k. In other words, k multiplied 5 times. m to the power of 4 is m times m times m times m. In other words, m multiplied 4 times. z times z times z is z to the power of 3. y times y times y times y equals y to the 4. x dot x dot x dot x dot x dot x is equivalent to x to the power of 6. If we used the time symbol along with the letter x, it could be confusing. v dot v dot v dot v is another way of writing v to the power of 5. And now that we know about notation, we will multiply the exponents. When you multiply two powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So w to the 2 times w to the 3 is w times w times w times w times w. In other words, two lots of multiplying w and three lots of multiplying w, which ends up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five lots of multiplying w, which is written w to the 5. Once you understand what is happening, you can just add the exponents and don't need to write it all out. So a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. This only applies when the bases are the same. In this example, the two bases are different, a and b, so we cannot add the exponents, and the answer is a to the m, b to the n. As there is no symbol between the a and the b, that means times. 
There are many little things like that that confuse people when they start doing algebra. Sorry. Another confusing thing is that we generally do not write the number or variable to the power of 1. If there is no power showing, it means to the power of 1. So k to the m times k is the same as k to the m times k to the 1, which is k to the m plus 1. And again, sorry. Example set 3, this time multiplying terms with exponents. A term is one part of an operation and can include letters and numbers. 8 to the 2 times 8 to the 3 equals 8 to the 2 plus 3, which equals 8 to the 5. 8 to the 5 times 8 to the 5 equals 8 to the 5 plus 5, which is 8 to the 10. Remember to try these yourself. 8 times 8 to the 6. Remember, 8 on its own with no index number is the same as 8 to the power 1. So this is 8 to the 1 plus 6, which equals 8 to the 7. 8 to the 2 times 8 equals 8 to the 2 plus 1, which equals 8 to the 3. Again, once you understand what is happening, you can just add the exponents. a to the 3 times a to the 10 equals a to the 13. b to the 3 times b to the 12 equals b to the 15. x dot x to the 4 equals x to the 5. V to the 4 times V equals V to the 5. X dot Y to the 4 is XY to the 4. Note that the 4 only applies to the Y, not the X. As the bases are different, we do not add the exponents. M to the 2 times N to the 3 is M to the 2, N to the 3. How are you doing? Do pause if you need to. The next section is multiplying exponents with coefficients. You can see on this example that there are numbers in two different positions around the letters or variables. The number, the full size number, multiplies the variable or the letter next to it. The number is called the coefficient or multiplier. When we multiply exponents with coefficients, first we multiply the numerical coefficients. Then we need to find the terms with the same base and add the exponents. In this example, we multiply the coefficients 4 times 2. We can see that the base is a in both terms, so we add the exponents 2 plus 5. This gives us 8a to the 7. Another little tricky thing is that if you have no coefficient, it is the same as a coefficient of 1. Some examples will help reinforce this. These ones have just one base. Example set 4, multiplying exponents with coefficients. 6x to the 2 times x to the 3. We multiply the coefficients, 6 times 1, which is 6. They have the same base, x, so we can add the exponents. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So the answer is 6x to the 5. 4x to the 2 times x to the 5 equals 4x to the 7. 2y times 5y equals 10y to the 2. Where there are no exponents, that means an exponent of 1. So we get y to the 2. 3y times 4y equals 12y to the 2. 4a to the 3 times 6a to the 7. We multiply the coefficients. 4 times 6 equals 24. The base is a. We add the indices. 3 plus 7 equals 10. So we get 24a to the 10. Here's your one. 5b to the 3 times 2b to the 4. The answer is 10b to the 7. 10 is 5 times 2, 7 is 3 plus 4. 2p to the 3 times p times 3p. We multiply the coefficients, 2 times 3 equals 6, and we add up the number of p's that are multiplied, 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. So you do this one. 2w times w to the 2 times 4w equals 8w to the 4. And finally for this video, multiplying exponents with different bases and coefficients. Oh boy! We multiply the coefficients. Then for each of the bases we add up the indices or exponents, remembering that when there is no exponent, it means an exponent of 1. 
A convention is that we write the coefficient first and then the variables in alphabetical order. It is not wrong if they are in a different order, but it's more difficult to identify. And some more examples, of course. Example set 5, multiplying exponents with different bases. Just look how far we've come. What can make this tricky is the different roles that the numbers play. It can be helpful to use highlighters to remind us which are coefficients and which are exponents of different bases. Here I have used pink highlighter for the coefficients. For each of the variables I've used a different colour for the exponent. Where there is a hidden exponent or a coefficient of 1, I've still put the highlighter in to remind me. You might like to use highlighters too. 4wx to the 2 times x to the 3 equals 4wx to the 5. The 4 is multiplied by 1 to give 4, and the 2 and the 3, which are the exponents of x, are added. Your turn. 9x to the 2 times w to the 2 x to the 5. This gives 9w to the 2 x to the 7. It's getting a bit weird reading these out, so I'll just let you read them. Your turn. This looks a bit tricky, but don't be afraid. Start with the coefficients. 4 times 6 equals 24. Then look at the a's. There are two a's with a hidden exponent 1, so that becomes a to the 2. And then there is b squared and c. This one is similar. And in this one, we are using dots instead of times sign. It is just the same though. 2 times 3 is 6. There is 1p being multiplied, 1q and 1 plus 3r's, giving us 6pqr to the 4. You do this one. Did you remember to put the letters in alphabetical order? Well done you. This video was about multiplying exponents and it also explained aspects of notation. Check in the description below to links to other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.